Hey everyone, Jesse here with uh, Plant Propagation. Doing an update on the aquaponics system. Uh, I picked up a 50 gallon stock tank from Tractor Supply. It's about $80, $85 or so. So that's going to be my new grow bed. And basically I want half the grow bed to be more in the sunshine and half the grow bed to be less in the sunshine. So uh, what I have to do is find a spot in the middle and I'll show you the underneath and I'll drill a hole into it uh, for the bulkhead and this is I think it's an inch and a quarter so this is an inch and a half hole saw and then this bulkhead will go and it'll sit like that which allows me to have uh, this PVC piping uh, going up which sets the height of the water level and then I'm also going to have a hole at the bottom of it so that basically every 15 minutes the pump will turn on fill this up it'll hit this overflow it'll pump will turn off and then it'll drain all the way to the bottom and that way this will constantly raise and lower in the system and it'll be pretty foolproof uh, we just went through uh, the Texas storm so basically all the minnows died that I had because it's Houston and they're used to hot weather um, once this is filled with or once I drill the hole I can fill it with lava rock and then I have some of this uh, hydrotone pebbles that I can use in a certain spot I'll have to uh, move that to one side or the other and then here's just the lava rock. So I have four bags, it's probably not enough, plus what I have in the existing system. And we'll go from there. So I'll do the, uh, the hole saw and drill next. Here's the underside of the 50 gallon stock tank. I'm gonna drill the hole right there. Uh, I'll make sure that this is the correct size. Well, I don't have anything to double check, but we'll just do it. And this is kind of a smaller um, bulkhead. Normally I have larger ones, but for my purposes this is just perfect. So we just want to make sure that there's no lip on the plastic, kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I can show you this thing, which will be on the top side just like that. And this little rubber gasket prevents any water from leaking down, but even if there was a leak on this, it doesn't matter because this is draining directly um, into the fish tank below. So here we have that pipe, it's all screwed in. The only thing I need to change out is this, um, this one. Um, I'm gonna exchange that one, but I need to clear out all the hydrotone in that. But you can kind of see underneath, let's see here. That's where it's gonna drain, just directly um, into the water. One other thing that we need to do is put some kind of barrier around this so that you have access to go in there and maybe you want to change the pipe or something but in any event you don't want all the rocks right next to it because it could block it so we need like a little pipe or something like that to uh, block out the rock. In my case I have this uh, apple, con apple juice container. It's a very sturdy plastic and I will drill a hole in the bottom of it, set it on top of there, I'll drill a bunch of holes in the sides so that water can get through at all levels. And this will be my, my box to keep out the rock. So I'll go ahead and do that. Here's that container. Cut out the bottom of it. Drilled a bunch of holes in there. Probably about 30 holes total. So it's just going to sit right there in the middle. We'll surround it with lava rock. That way nothing's going to go straight into the pipe and it'll be blocked out. I'll uh, start adding the lava rock right now. We'll see what it looks like with more stuff added.
So here's the completed product. Uh, the only thing I might do is brace the sides, put blocks on each side so that not all the weight is pushing down on this stock tank. I have no idea how much that can, that can take in general, but it should be fine, but that would be the only other um, thing that I can think of. But basically, the pump is running on this timer. Every other notch is pushed in, except for at nighttime, I think I extended it, so you have 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off, except at night you have 15 minutes on, 30 minutes off. And so basically it would fill up, there is one hole at the bottom of that. It's like a quarter inch hole um, at the very, probably like right there where it meets the pipe. And so that's already started to, started to drain. As you can see, it's not very much, um, but that'll set the bottom height. So once it hits the top of this, I'm probably going to shorten this maybe by an inch and a half or so. But once it hits the top of this, then I'll start, you know, dumping all the water through. The pump will turn off and then it'll drain completely to the bottom using that slow trickle. And that's the idea. And then you still have a good amount of um, a good amount of real estate. I'll probably even move it over a little bit, maybe, to try and cover some more of the water. Otherwise, I'll just put a cover right here to prevent any algae or whatnot. And this is just a 500 gallon per hour pump that's running. might be the stress test to see if it can hold the weight. <laughs> and I'll put a couple more bags of lava rock over here so the less water will be in there in general. And that's basically it. Um, I'll be using this to propagate plants. I have an elderberry plant that survived. So basically all the cuttings I'll try and cover maybe half of this with uh, shade cloth. And then the other half, maybe I'll have some plants that'll actually grow in here. There'll be a bunch of fish in there um, to kind of fertilize the water and do that aquaponics thing. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching.